a demonstration here for you today. What you'll need is a jug of water, which is three quarters full, a paper plate and a toilet paper roll. Then also what you'll need is an egg. And if you don't want to use an egg because you're a bit nervous, you can use an apple. And then you'll need a broomstick. So to start off, you'll put your jug there at the end of the table. And you'll put now the plate, your paper plate and your toilet paper roll. It's all the things that sort of take us away from God. That like telling lies, stealing and being naughty. So God is obviously the water in the jug. And we are the apple. Not or the egg. So what can you do? That will get the egg safely in the water and not on the floor. So what God sort of does is he goes like this. There's you are with all your sin and everything and he wants to forgive us and rescue us. So he'll So he'll Okay, this is why we needed an apple just in case that happened so God wants to forgive us and he comes and takes away your sin because you want to repent to him and he rescues us safely so I hope you guys enjoyed my demonstration I showed you earlier and now I'm sort of going to tell you how to apply this stuff to your day-to-day -day lives and by doing this, I'm going to tell you a story about Peter, which was one of the disciples. At the Last Supper, Jesus told all the disciples that they're going to fall short from him, which means they'll forget about him. And he specifically told Peter that he would deny Jesus three times before the rooster crows. And Peter was the first one that said he will never do this, even if he has to die next to him. But Jesus said before the rooster crows, he will deny him three times and disown Jesus. So when the rooster actually did crow, Peter realized that he did betray or deny Jesus. And he ran away and cried really a lot. And after the dying on the cross and everything, Jesus found them on the beach. And Jesus was on the shore and Peter was in the boat. And Peter was trying to fish, but decide he was fishing. There was no fish, he was catching nothing. And Jesus shouted from shore, throw your nets on the right side. So, they, so Peter did this. And as he did it here, he caught so many fish that he couldn't even reel the net in and bring them back on the ship or the boat. And then when Peter realized that this was Jesus on shore, he even jumped out of the boat to swim to Jesus because he was so eager and couldn't wait to meet Jesus again. So this story sort of tells us that even though we've made so many mistakes, if we've lied, to whoever, your parents, your friends, or f you have stolen, that Jesus still forgives and he always wants to restore it because even though Peter denied him three times, Jesus also asked Peter, did he love him three times? And the first time from John 21, he says, feed my lambs. Then the second time with, uh, do you love me, is take care of my sheep. And the third one was feed the sheep. So this was meaning Peter must go out and share the word about Jesus and keep it going and not forget about him. And this is so wonderful to know that Jesus always forgives you no matter what. You can have done the worst thing, but as long as you repent of it, Jesus forgives. And he has forgiven our sins already. So I just want to pray with you guys quickly. If you haven't given your life to the Lord, you can pray with me. Um, so yeah, just close your eyes and bow your heads. Um, dear Father, I just ask that you help me 
repent of my sins and let me believe that you have died on the cross for me and you have forgiven my sins already. I ask that you bring a new me and just help me grow with you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for listening and I'll see you again. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. to show Peace.